let's talk. Let's talk. Someone's asking what's in the box. Um, I really want to do like a Brad Pitt like impression. So, um, so this is this is exciting. Something we've been talking about for a while. For all you people that think that we we talk about products but never release them, in your face. Uh, <laughs> this is our our B nine. Uh, 3.0 T and 2.9 T uh, TFSI high pressure fuel pump piston upgrade kit. Uh, when you open the box, you will see a fuel pump piston upgrade in his inside here. So this is the the kind of retainer, like kind of like what you'd have a on a valve spring retainer. And this is the actual pump here. Not a lot to look at, but there is two separate pieces here. So housing and the actual piston itself. Um, so the way the way this works is by swapping out the housing, uh, you can put a bigger piston inside. A bigger piston has a bigger surface area, which means it can pump more fuel. So we advertise this as a thirty-seven percent flow hey, increase. Actually, looking at it right now, I think, I think that's about yep thirty-seven. Um, other than that, this isn't a super exciting product. It just needs to flow 37% more than the factory one and never fail or give up. And by fail, we mean, I mean, the tolerances on these things is like micron level it with, is. with, you know, diamond coating. So, so there's just a handful of manufacturers in the world that can make something like this. Uh, and then there, there are some like aerospace proprietary coatings on the parts as well. So you can see this piston, I don't know if you can see the piston is black in color. And there's there's a really special coating. The tolerances on this are in the ten thousandths yeah. of an inch. Yeah, that's that's not a cosmetic coating. That is a functional. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so that means you can't just have like Joe Schmuckatelli, uh, Joe Schmuckatelli's machine shop, you know, whip some of these up for you. Um, I'm not aware of anyone in the U.S. that makes makes uh, manufactures this product. Although there's lots of really high tolerance aerospace stuff going on in the US. It's a pretty special. <clears throat> so between the, the the surface finish, the tolerances and the coatings, it's an extremely difficult, expensive product to make. Now, one of our well-known competitors for the past year has been plagued with quality issues and with they're experiencing uh, basically a 100% failure rate. You, know, you you put it in and it starts having issues almost immediately. So <clears throat> Uh, the engineering, the manufacturing, the testing. So we we even we we regularly test uh, production units as they come in and ship to us. But uh, as as far as it being made correctly in the testing, nothing nothing to worry about there. Um, so why 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 do we make did we make or release this? Uh, this allows additional. Uh, fuel capacity or fuel output from the high pressure fuel pump and on the two these 2.9 and 3.0 motors which unleashes additional horsepower potential so we have uh, stage one plus and two plus files which take advantage of this uh, and then our stage three files also require a high pressure fuel pump upgrade in the past uh, i know we've had customers using apr and some other options out there Hopefully, no one needs to ever do that again. Uh, and uh, we, we have these in stock, ready to ship, and uh, a, a good supply. We've invested well into the six figures to bring this product to market. It's not a cheap, easy product to do. Uh, and we have a lot of inventory to, to support it as well. Um, so on the stage one plus two plus files, the reason it's an upgrade is the factory fuel pump is driven by the camshaft. And so the fuel pump flow curve for the high pressure fuel pump is closely linked to the camshaft speed. So at lower RPMs, the high pressure fuel pump flows quite a bit less than it does at higher RPMs. Uh, the, the problem that's presented here is that the torque peak in these motors is, is in the 3000 RPM range. And so at a point in the power band where the fuel demand is highest, the factory fuel pump flows less than the potential of the engine to make power. It's, it's very linked basically to the VE curve of the motor because you're obviously your, your amount of air you're breathing is linked to RPM. 
so the amount of fuel you're delivering is, is completely linked to RPM needs. Yeah. Uh, and the torque peak is, is always at the volume measure efficiency peak of the motor, which is why it's why the motor cruises the most torque there. Um, so by installing this pump, we increase the fuel capacity. And so we're able to, to create additional torque and horsepower through the mid range of the power band. Uh, it's not a lot of power. If you look at the quoted numbers for one plus and two plus, they're not huge numbers, but they are nice gains across relatively broad, you know, 1,000, 1,500 RPM band. And so the area on the curve is quite big and the increase uh, while, while you're accelerating is substantial. So you get a higher rate of acceleration through basically half the power band. And that, that's even 10, 15 horsepower is enough to make quite a bit of big difference in acceleration there. So we, we sell our one plus and two plus files for 50 bucks, the $50 upgrade, and then you need this pump. So if you're currently stage one or stage two, uh, and you'd like to go, uh, and this is on the B9 3.0T, and you'd like, you'd like to go one plus, two plus, you'll just need to buy this pump and do the, the upgrade flash, and you'll unlock that extra power. It's free power, it's just sitting there waiting. It's in the turbo, uh, and this, this fuel pump unlocks it. So we also came to market at a very affordable price. I think some of the other options are like a thousand bucks out there, which include a whole new pump housing. This, this is quite easy to service. We sell a very nice affordable tool to go with it. it makes this a DIY project. Um, I don't recommend having too many beers when you do this. Maybe yeah, don't just, drop it. Maybe just so like, you install things correctly. Don't drop it. Maybe just one Nikola Ultra. Kind of at the work, beginning. work, work in a clean like this is like yeah. like we said these are these are very high precision parts so you want to work in a way that you know you're not contaminating or that's right or grinding, so low dust certainly no sand or grit or right. metal shavings things like that so if you need to put down a nice clean towel sometimes what I do is I'll, I'll buy uh, some cookie sheets and um, you can buy aluminum cookie sheets for ten bucks. You can throw those in the dishwasher and make sure they're nice and clean. Uh, and then you could do your work on, on those. And I mean, we're not talking like you need a lab grade stuff no. here. This is just any practice inside. You're doing anything internal to the motor. Once those, yeah. you know, once you're working on, you know, bearing surfaces or, you know, seal surfaces that are you just, know, just not your dirty workbench. You know? Yeah. Uh, will there be different files that differentiate high peel fresh, high pressure fuel pump or not? Example, stage one, 85, yep. there with that. That'll be the one plus or two plus yeah. files. The plus will indicate the pump and it'll be listed in the, um, you'll see it both in the flashing portal um, and online, the requirements, the, the mod require requirements for each file and the high pressure pump will be one of those. And this is, the, this is the same for our B9 2.90 RS5 files. We have a one plus file. Yeah. Currently it's free. Um, but we are going to start charging fifty dollars for that. So yep, same as the you may want to jump on that now if if, uh, if you haven't. But the the additional power on the two point nine T one plus is impressive. We we are not doing a stage two for the two point nine T as we've discussed. We did ju we just did not see any power gains with uh, aftermarket racing cats on that application. So why why release a file if there's no benefit? Okay, the, the factory cats. In the 2.9T, there's two separate cats, and they flow quite a bit. They, they, they flow as much as the stock turbos could ever produce on stage one. Okay. All right. Um, feel free to follow up with any additional questions on these babies, but um, they are for sale, and um, they are selling. All right.